Hello, my dear students. How are you? Hope you're doing fine. Okay. In this video, we're going to explain our new reading lesson, which is related to the vocabulary words that we took in the previous week. Uh, it's in Unit 2, Lesson 2, A Modern Cinderella. You, would, you might ask yourself, what could be a modern Cinderella? Okay. You know, the, you, all of you know the story of Cinderella, but that one happened long time ago. Let's see here what's the difference between the modern Cinderella and the old Cinderella, okay? In this video, we are going to introduce the uh, topic. We are going to introduce the new theme. Uh, we will revise the vocabulary words. We read the words aloud and correctly. We are going to identify a new genre for a text. And also, we're going to read the text together and solve some questions at the end. Okay, first of all, just uh, let's make a quick revision for the vocabulary word. You can find this uh, page in your book. Let's read the words in the sentences first. Circumstances. There are many circumstances that can make roads impossible to drive on. Consideration. My mom gives careful consideration to the fresh fruits she buys. Consults. A driver consults a map to find which road to travel on. Destiny. Lena loves ballet so much. I think her destiny is to become a dancer. Expectations. Jamie's present lived up to her expect expectations. Uh, presence. The visitors were thrilled to be in the presence of the Queen of England. Uh, reveal. The actor opened the curtain to reveal what was behind it. Last one, uh, unsure. The chess player was unsure of what move to make next. Okay, uh, here we have the words with their uh, meanings. Uh, for sure, you can find this table with the related exercises in the uh, on the drive. Uh, it's vocabulary worksheet two, semester three. Okay. Uh, also, there is a related answer key in the worksheet answers or solutions file. Also on the drive. Unsure means not certain. Circumstances means conditions or events that exist with other things and may have an eff effect on them. Consideration, careful thought. Consults, asks for advice. Destiny, what happens uh, or what is meant to happen. Expectations, believe or expect that certain things will happen. Presence, existence, reveal, show or display. Okay, also a quick revision for the simile and metaphor. Uh, I have been uh, uploading a video for simile and metaphor before this one. Okay, there is also a related worksheet. You must have done it with its related answer key on the drive. So also, again, we repeat. The simile is when we compare uh, two unlike things or two different things using like or as in the sentence. Uh, metaphor, when we compare also two uh, indirect things, but without using like or as, we mostly use the form of the verb to be. Okay, now we move to the new theme or to the big question or the new topic. Seeking the answer. When we say seeking the answer, we are looking for answers. So there is a certain task or a certain idea or a subject we're talking about that needs answers and we are seeking for this answer. Let's read the essential question. What can you do to get the information you need? Okay, when you first set out to complete a task, seek an answer or find information about something, you never know where your journey may lead you. Sometimes it may feel as if you're running through a maze. You might even find yourself feeling lost or heading into greater difficulty. So all of these things, you might face, face them while you're seeking for an answer. But if you successfully complete the task and find the answer, you gain a great sense of accomplishment. So you have to pay attention to set steps or a certain procedure that you have to follow in order to reach your answers at the end. Then you look forward to the next time when another journey will sweep you away. Okay, so here uh, our theme is about looking for answers. Seeking means searching or looking for answers. Okay, so there is a certain problem. I have to solve it and find the answers for it at the end. Let's move to the genre. Okay, so now we have a new genre, which is the fairy tale. What do we mean by fairy tale? Fairy, uh, it's not real, for sure. It's from our imagination. Uh, 
the selection will be a modern Cinderella. Okay, it's a fairy tale because it includes a made-up setting. The setting could not be real. It's made up, such as once upon a time. Okay? A prince or princess and magical characters. So when we find magical characters, so it's called also fairy tale. And also you, found, you find illustrations. What do we mean by illustrations? Okay, illustrations. What do we mean by illustrations? If you look at these pictures, these are called illustrations. So now, we got introduced to the genre, to our skill. Let's start reading the story. A modern Cinderella. Once upon a time, the time being the other night, the prince was as joyous as a gamer with the new highest score. He had just danced with an amazing young woman at the royal palace. So you see, we have a royal palace, we have once upon a time, all of these show that uh, there is a fairy tale. It was during the taping of his weekly TV show, Dancing with the Prince. He had only agreed to do the show to help his mother, the queen, raise money for charity. But when the prince twirled his lovely dancer in the presence of the audience and judges, he felt as if he were floating on a cloud. However, circumstances changed as soon as the music stopped at midnight. As the applause began, the young woman's cell phone rang and she rushed from the palace. All she left behind was a purple sneaker. You see, there is the sneaker, purple. Here it's also illustration. And the prince fell into a dungeon of despair. I must find her again, he cried, and in time for tomorrow night's final show. How should he search? He clutched the purple sneaker in his hand. Seeing the prince's tears, the queen advised, He who consults the right sources will surely succeed. The prince's mind raced like a galloping horse on his favorite game, horse chaser. After much consideration, he made a plan. First, he interviewed everyone who had attended the show, but no one could help. Next, the prince searched the internet. He entered the phrase, great dancer with purple shoe, but he found no one. Then the prince put up posters of the set up of, sorry, put up posters of the purple sneaker all over the kingdom's social network. Yet no one recognized the shoe or knew its owner. The prince held, uh, held the purple sneaker in one hand and his computer compass in the other. I will continue my quest, he cried, even if I must personally travel the entire kingdom. With that, the prince powered up his royal electric skateboard and set out. At the first house, a woman came out to greet the prince. He held out the, the sneaker and announced, This shoe will tell me if you are my destiny. The excited woman struggled to jam her large foot into the shoe, but the sneaker was much too small. At the next house, another woman eagerly tried on the sneaker. The shoe flopped and fell off. At every home the prince visited, the pepper sneaker seemed as big as a boat or as small as a seed. Every foot failed to meet his expectations. As the day wore on, the prince grew sadder. His discouraged heart was a cell phone in need of recharging. Finally, there was only one house left to visit. When the prince arrived, the three sisters stood in front, offering their feet. They'd been following the news feed. The shoe fit none of them. Does anyone else live here? A weary prince asked the sisters. From inside the house came a chime. The sisters' eyes became narrow slits. A young woman stepped outside and handed a phone to the oldest sister. The prince quickly held out the sneaker and requested, Please try this on. She did, and it fit her foot perfectly. You're my missing dancer, the prince cried. Will you be my dance partner forever? The young, the, sorry, the young woman smiled and replied, Thanks, but not right now. I'll dance tomorrow, but I have a lot of plans. First, I want to travel. The prince begged, please say yes. After all, this is a fairy tale where anything can happen. So prince, the woman said, you'll just have to wait. That's cool, the prince sighed, but at least reveal your name. It's Cinderella, the woman replied. She scribbled on a piece of paper. 
Here's my number. Let's stay in touch. TTYLP. The prince looked puzzled and was unsure of how to reply. It means, talk to you later, prince, Cinderella explained. TTYLC, the prince replied as he waved to Cinderella and rode away. And they texted happily ever after. Okay, so now we enjoyed the fairy tale story. It's time to practice. Read the above reading text carefully to answer the questions below. A. Answer the questions using complete sentences of your own. 1. How did the prince meet the mystery girl? 2. What was the clue left from the mystery girl? 3. What are the steps the prince followed to get the information needed? 4. Compare and contrast modern Cinderella and old Cinderella. Old Cinderella, the Cinderella that you know. Give two similarities and two differences. 5. Pick out from the text a simile or a metaphor and explain it. If you want to pick out, uh, out two uh, different types of figures of speech, which I mean one uh, simile, one metaphor, you can do it also. And number four, if you want to draw, a to draw a Venn diagram on a sheet of paper, it will be better. B. Go back to the text to find the stable word that matches each meaning. One, dark prison in paragraph three. Two, gripped or seized in paragraph three also. Number three, a search in paragraph five. Number four, feeling impatiently in paragraph seven. Okay, read the story carefully. Try to solve the answers by yourselves. Uh, this lecture will be found also on uh, the power uh, on the drive. And uh, try solving the answers, uh, sorry, the questions by yourself before you get the answers. Okay, be stay safe and bye bye.